Well, get ready to laugh and to laugh some more. The Church Basement Ladies are bringing their 20th anniversary tour. How cool is that? To the historic Paramount Theater and Anderson at this spring. We have Animal Ryan and Jessica Bradish. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for Thank having you. us. Absolutely. I'm so glad that we had a chance to connect. I've been watching videos of you guys for the last couple of days, who you are and what you do. This is so much fun. I have so much fun like as an, as an audience member watching it. What is this like for you? Um, this is my first time doing the show and it was, it was a big surprise to get in front of an audience. They just laugh continuously. <laughs> they, uh, they all seem to just have a great time with it. Don't they? They really yeah. do. They yeah. really do. Yeah. I uh, bet. And I'm they're wondering. very vocal. Yes, yes. They are. they're very vocal. They're very yeah. vocal about it. Okay, so for people who are just joining us thinking, okay, what is Church Basement Ladies? What are you talking about? What are <laughs> they, can you set the scene for me? Sure. Um, so we're, we're, uh, three ladies uh, who all work in the basement of the church, kind of helping out with, uh, you know, volunteering our time to cook for luncheons uh -huh, and funerals yes. and weddings. And uh, one of the ladies has a daughter that also helps us out. And there's a pastor that kind of rounds out the right. cast. And uh, I would say it's very like sitcom esque where there's like each scene is a different, like small little problem that we overcome and then yeah. we move on to something mm -hmm. else. So it's, it's very lighthearted. Right. It's, it's very... lighthearted. And it takes, place in 1964 yes oh, so the problems okay. then are much different than the problems yes, today I, wondered. I, I figured it was a throwback i wasn't exactly sure what year but i think people really like that and i think it's sort of an escape maybe to yesteryear so to speak especially in today's culture do you notice that from audience members Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, it's, yes. it's definitely an escape. It's uh, it's just a lot of fun. It was. It's a lot of fun. And it was, uh, believe it or not, I never believe I say this. At my age, it was a more innocent time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I thought 1964 was pretty turbulent. But, yeah. um, <laughs> but we do kind of giggle and laugh at what we were concerned with then. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious, what about the topics like the material? If we decided to come to the show in Anderson, what would what could we expect in terms of like what the scenes will be like, the conversations that you're having and what it's about? Well, my character, I play Vivian Snoostead. I am the matriarch of the kitchen. My character has a lot more different problems than the others. Okay. Mine are very um, standard with the church. For instance, the hymnals in 1964 went from black to red. Ah, well, okay. <laughs> highly controversial. <laughs> yes. Okay. Red was not a color, Vivian Snoostead. Yeah. It's so interesting. What about your character? Uh, I played Mavis. She is an uh, all-around fix-it uh, country farm farmer's wife, you know, uh, you know, out mucking the cows, and then I and then I come <laughs> in and I I make lutefisk with the ladies yeah. for the church. That is um, so fun. Yeah, yeah. And there's a little bit of you know intergenerational. Like I said, uh, one of the one of the ladies in the cast is the daughter of one of the church basement ladies. Yeah. So she's she's younger. She's about 19. She's just gone off to college in the in the cities in Minneapolis. Cities. Yeah, which is a a pretty big a deal. Big for deal. Her. I'm excited. Coming to Anderson, Indiana, March 31st at 7:30 p.m. This long-standing comedy series ladies i wish i could talk to you for another 10 minutes yeah. but I, know, I know they want me to wrap this up but i appreciate your time thank you so much thank you, you for thank you, you. thank you for it. talking to me on the road on the bus but getting <laughs> everybody a reason to laugh and a reason to smile that is what it's all about thank you thank autumn you. and jessica Absolutely. thank you thank you. you okay bye ladies bye bye, bye. bye.